What do you want to be when you grow up? Do you remember the first time you were asked that question? An ambitious 12-year-old, you might have said, I want to be the next president. I want to be a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, an astronaut. Me too. I said those things too. But you know what my friends and I never said? I want to be a computer scientist. Now, you may be thinking, oh, I never said that either, and that is okay. As we get older and our aspirations get a little toned down, you might go from astronaut to pilot. You may now say president of insert company name instead of just president. Still, nobody I know from back home, from Chicago, says computer scientist. Why is that? It bothered me. Why do so few people from my community, and I'm sure many others, talk about tech or know about the opportunities that it can bring? For the answer, I think back to two kids I knew growing up, Devon and Annie. Devon loves film, especially editing videos. He takes normal things like a person going for a walk and reverses it, slows it down, chops it up, until he has something that's brilliant. You'd probably say he has a knack for computers, and he'd agree. And then there's Annie. She's all into social media. She knows all the apps that allow you to track how many followers you have and how to monitor them. If anyone in her family has a problem with any technical device, she's the first responder. You'd probably say she's a whiz with her phone, and she'd agree. <laughs> and one day, naturally, they both wonder, how does all this stuff work? Because to them, as well as to most of us, Computers are a box of magic. So they ask, they talk to their friends, their family, their teachers. So you want to be a rocket scientist? Came from their friends and then, honestly, I don't know anything about apps. Came from their teachers. Mixed feedback, but that didn't stop them. Years passed, and by the time we were applying for college, Devon and Annie knew more about code and computers than I learned from my first year at Stanford. Now, today. They're both working at big tech companies, probably a company one of you all has some connection to. We all may consider their journeys proper and their accomplishments today deserving. The only issue with this story is that it isn't true. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some stories like this, but for most people, this isn't reality. As a tech community, we talk a lot about diversity, but have we actually ever considered how the Annie's and Devon's of this world are seen and valued. Even a fake story about two people, it isn't just about two people. Their friends, family, teachers, interviewers, bosses are all characters in this story. If you were in this story, what, what character would you be? Would you be that, that teacher, that interviewer, that boss that recognizes that we desperately need to engage our black, native, Latinx, queer people in various, various gender identities that are represented in those populations? The reality of it is, you all are already characters in other people's stories. So it's important we ask ourselves, what type of characters do we want to be? Better yet, what type of people do we want to be when we grow up? Thank you. <laughs>